Today I have got a highly requested video planned for you guys, and that would be a one versus one. And in this one versus one, we've got the Berkeley Pinch Crawler versus real night crawlers. These are live night crawlers right here. Virginia night crawlers, same as Canadian, they're just night crawlers. So what I wanna do is I wanna fish these on a trout magnet rig. I wanna drift worms and I wanna drift the, the gulp of live baits here. These are one inch, two centimeter pinch crawlers. I'll put a, a pinch off a piece of night crawler about the same size. What I wanna do is I wanna drift these holes with night crawlers first and see if I get a bite. And then drift the exact same hole with pinch crawlers and see if I get more bites or less bites or the same amount of bites. And I wanna see if the artificial is really better than the all natural thing here. So let's get started. I'm gonna start off with some normal worms here. We're gonna pinch off a little piece and we're gonna get started. In order to make this pretty much fair, what I'm gonna be doing is pinching off a piece of night crawler about the same size as a pinched crawler. About that much right there, just a little pinch. I wanna take it right through the tip of the trout magnet rig here and pull it right back through just like that. That way it almost looks like a pinched crawler on there. And that's pretty much gonna be our presentation. So let's slide on down here to the water, make a few casts with the natural night crawler and see if we can pick one up. All right, we're down here next to this little hole. We've got our night crawler all rigged up here. We're gonna make our first couple drifts through here and see if we can get anybody interested. feel like that may have been a strike right there. Just a short strike, he dropped it, but I feel like that was a strike. Oh, we got him on the normal night crawler. About the fourth or fifth cast, he came up and smashed that night crawler. Oh, good one, jumper. Good fish. Oh, good fish. Oh, there went our worm. He kicked it off right here at us. All right. There we go, guys. All natural Virginia night crawler raised in Parisburg, Virginia. Caught this fish here. Pretty quick, pretty easy guys. This is about a three quarter to a pound fish. Not very big, but he ate that natural night crawler. Let's let him go. All right, to continue this experiment, I'm going to pop on a pinch crawler in natural color. We're gonna drift the same amount of spots. And if we don't pick one up in about 10 casts, well then it's pretty safe to say that the night crawler is doing its job these pinch crawlers out of here. We're gonna pop it on this exact same trout magnet hook, just like so. And we're gonna pop it in this exact same run here that we just caught our last fish out of. And we're just gonna see if we can pick one up quickly or if it takes a while and just kind of compare. I feel like we got a bite on our very first cast right there. Right when it made it to the end of the run, seen it, seen the bobber tick just a little bit. Oh, we had him on 100% right there. He popped off though. So second cast with the pinch crawler and we got a strike. That's a super good sign. Oh, there was one big and he come over and swatted it. All right, we're on about our eighth or ninth cast with the pinch crawler. He did not strike at that time. So we've had three strikes and about 10 casts now, so not too bad. I just didn't execute on two of the strikes. All right, guys, so I fished this thing about 15 drifts through this hole. 
and I've had three bites and I've rolled two fish, I actually seen them hit. So what I wanna do is I wanna take off the pinch crawler and I wanna put on another piece of natural night crawler and drift through this hole about 10 or 15 times and just see if I can get some of these fish to commit to the natural worm There he is. Mm, good one. He took the pinch crawler. I drifted through this, all this little stretch right here with a normal night crawler and didn't get a bite. Threw that pinch crawler over there and he had to have it. Oh, he is fighting. Looks like some pink hanging out of his mouth. I believe somebody else has caught this fish. It is something pink hanging out of his mouth. Now he's got a pinch crawler in there too. But he's also got something pink. It looks like a trout worm. Oh, whatever it was that was pink just popped off. There we go. Heck yeah. Oh, he popped right off in the net. There we go. All right, I seen something pink going on, so let's check this fish's mouth and make sure he doesn't have a hook. Calm down, buddy. We're going to check you. I don't see a hook. So, whatever it was, it must have just been right on the outside and it popped off during the fight. But heck yeah, there's our fish on our pinch crawler. So right now they're 1-1, one, one, and the pinch crawler's actually had a few more bites, so I would give it a slight edge right now. So... Let's go ahead and continue our experiment. We're going to pop on a natural night crawler, continue down the stream, and see how we fare. Night crawler, all natural, all rigged up right here. And we're going to start fishing right here, where we call our first night crawler fish. And we're just going to fish this entire stretch all the way down until we get down there to the rapids. We fished all this with the pinch crawler, and we caught one. And we also fished all this with the natural night crawler just before that and didn't even get a sniff so just to keep our experiment going and to make sure we're checking off every box we want to cast this night crawler back out there fish it through one more time just to make sure that we're giving it a fair chance but as of right now we're about 50 50 with a slight edge going to the pinch crawler because it has in fact gotten more bites in the same amount of time make our cast here cross to the other side natural night crawler oh we got him with the natural night crawler daggum another nice one almost the exact same spot that fish came with the pinch crawler super good sign right here all right this is our second fish on the natural night crawler and this will pretty much even up the scoreboard between the two. All right, hook popped off in the net. Can't complain with that. So this fish here came on the natural night crawler and he took it really quickly in the exact same spot as that last fish on the pinch crawler. Pretty strange, but it's pretty safe to say they're doing about equal right now. Um, I'd give a little bit of an edge towards the pinch crawler still because it's got a couple more bites But the night crawler is definitely I mean they're taking it and they're eating it and I'm getting more hookups So really really close right now. Let's let this one go There she goes. All right, so let's go ahead and grab us out a pinch crawler and we'll continue this experiment right on down the creek here I'm gonna reach into this pack here grab us out another pinch crawler and We're gonna fish right on down same little stretch and we're gonna see if we can pick up another one. And if so, then I feel like it's pretty safe to say that these guys are on an equal playing field. And it just depends on whether or not you wanna buy a package of worms that you can store and keep in your tackle gear. Or if you prefer to fish with just normal night crawlers that you buy at a gas station or like a Walmart. We got our pinched crawler on here and we made it about halfway to where we caught our last fish on the natural night crawler and it's pretty interesting 
because it seems like those two fish were in a very similar area but just didn't strike previously. A little bit of a snag there. Got him. That fish like that pinch crawler. I'm just walking out through here. This is the exact same stretch. Oh, he popped off. But this is the exact same stretch that we just fished a few minutes ago. And I didn't get a strike here. But that pinch crawler, it did the deal right there. I mean, you really cannot complain. All right. I'm thinking we're going to make one more cast with this pinch crawler to end our experiment. We have fished a section about 75 yards long and we have fished it fairly and equally with the pinch crawlers and the night crawlers the entire duration of the creek the entire stretch and i feel like the presentation that i'm giving has been introduced to every fish in the area so um i'd like to go on ahead and say that i feel like the wind will be going to the pinched crawler and i tell you why the pinch crawler has a set of advantages that the night crawlers just can't compete with the first big advantage is they are colored. You can buy them in pink and yellow and brown. And using those different colors from time to time does help. Now another really big advantage that you're gonna see while using pinch crawlers is they can be stored in your tackle bag or in your pocket. So you can pop them in the back of your truck or in your tackle box and they're good today, they're good tomorrow, and they're good next month. As long as they're sealed, they're totally fresh. Where night crawlers, they're good in your, you know, in your refrigerator for a couple months and then they go bad and they smell and you know, if you leave them in your truck on a hot day, they go bad. But the, the you know, the old school way of fishing with the night crawlers still has its place. There's still sometimes that a whole night crawler will outfish any other bait you could possibly bring to the stream. But um, if you agree, then uh, leave me a comment down below and let me know. If you disagree, leave me a comment down below and let me know. But uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button, drop that comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, boys and girls, be safe and tight lines.